There isn't any place for me, not like you. Not in the law, in the country, or any place in this city. My old father lives in the country, as you know, but then he doesn't want to see me nowadays. As I can't say, I blame him. Whenever I went to see him the other day, whenever it was, you know, I tried to remind him of all the things that we'd done together, and he wouldn't. He simply wouldn't remember. Then the old devil got mad and told me I was imagining it. I had to leave in the end. He was tired and he wanted me to go. And when I bent down and kissed him, he didn't look up. Your other grandparents can hardly bring themselves to acknowledge me. Do you know the old lady crossed to the other side of the street once when I was wheeling you in the pram so as to avoid speaking? Oh, they still have you over there, I know, and your mother goes and they still give you your generous presents, Christmas and birthday. But do you know, when they write to your mother, they never even mention me by name. Dr. Bill, how's Bill? Nothing. Not for ten years. And they only did it in the early years after you were born because they thought they had to in case they weren't going to be able to see you. And then they discovered they didn't even have to mind that genteel little curtain. But and this is the but. I still don't think what you're doing will ever even, even, even approach the fibbing, mumping, pinched little worm of energy eating away in this me of mine, I mean, which is that of being slowly munched and then diminished altogether. A flat worm, thank heaven, is not in your little cherry rose. And you're unself conscious, which I'm not, and without guilt. Which I am not. Oh, of course, you're stuck full of paltry relief for emergent countries and marches and boycotts and rallies. But there isn't much loving in any of your kindnesses, Jane. There's not much kindness in you, any of you. Not even cruelty. You're flipping off hand. And if you are the unfeeling things that you appear to be, then no one can ever really accuse you of being cruel in the proper sense. You'll have no rattlings of shame or death. There'll be no little sweating eruptions of blood, no flesh splitting anywhere or hemorrhage because you have done everything well and sensibly and stylishly and you'll know that it wasn't worth any candle that ever burned. You have to be blown out, snuffed, decently. <laughs>